me, Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. Well, Michael Jackson's youngest son, Blanket, or oh, he's calling himself Biggie now, is suing Mother Catherine. He's suing Michael's mother. It's always about money. It's always about money. And I believe that she has done the best that she could to try to preserve Michael's memory and to establish a legacy for him. But she's 93 years old. And I'll just go into the article. Michael Jackson's son, Biggie, slams grandmother Catherine over funds from dad's estate. In court filings obtained by USA Today, Biggie, 22, whose legal name is Prince Michael Jackson III, these people are obsessed with royalty, argued that his grandmother should not be able to use funds from his father's estate to finance her legal battle against executors. Now, they have been fighting those executors ever since Michael died because the executors are trying to control his legacy and his money. And his family, including the brothers, went to court and lost. The mother has been fighting from day one, and she's still fighting to try to preserve his legacy. Biggie Jackson's attorneys said Catherine Jackson's requests for legal services do not benefit the estate, so a judge should not approve her requests. Biggie Jackson's filing was a response to Catherine Jackson's ongoing opposition to the $600 million deal with Sony Music for half of the late pop star's recorded music catalog and publishing by executors of the estate, Billboard and People reported. So they're trying to sell off his catalog. Now the brothers believe that's why he ended up dead in the first place, because those record companies were trying to get their hands on his catalog. Because remember, he bought the publishing rights to the majority of the Beatles catalog. So that's what's bringing in a lot of that money. In December, a judge sided with executors and said the deal could continue. But Katherine Jackson pursued an appeal of the decision anyways. So they've been trying to do that from the beginning and she's been fighting it. The court filing says the Sony deal was of paramount significance to Biggie, I guess it's Biggie, both financially and personally. Michael Jackson's youngest son decided to move on from the legal battle, which is why he is opposing his grandmother's request. I'm wondering what the paramount significance would be to him. Maybe he doesn't think it's useful since he's not in the music business. The filing states that despite the expense and long odds, Catherine decided to pursue an appeal. USA Today has reached out to representatives for Catherine Jackson and Biggie Jackson for comment. According to Billboard, Michael Jackson executors John Branca and John McClain claim Catherine Jackson has received over $55 million from the estate since the singer's death in 2009. Contrary to claims made by Mrs. Jackson's counsel, the executors have in fact provided liberally for Mrs. Jackson's maintenance, care, and well-being, attorneys for Bracca and McLean wrote, according to the report. Well, they should. It was her son. She should be getting proper care. Since Michael's death, the executors have expended for Mrs. Jackson's benefit more than $55 million. Well, the question is how much are they getting? That's, that's the question. Now, according to reports, he left 40% of his estate to his mother, 40% to his children, and 20% for the executors to dispense and disperse of I guess as they will to charities and so forth. Most of the charities going in their pocket. Now, 
The tricky part is when she passes away, the 40% that was left to her is supposed to go to his children, which goes back to what the advocates for reparations say. That seems to be an effort to make sure that black people don't pass down any generational wealth to their family. But I, uh, my question is, if it's her money, why, are they, why does it have to go back to those children? They already got 40%. And it seems like they're complaining because she's got that $55 million since he died. I guess they thought she'd have been dead by now. But now she's 93 years old and they say she's in good health. So I hope she lives longer than they do. I know that's reaching. That she can get $555 million more million out of that estate. Because she deserves it. She's his mother and she deserves it. Michael Jackson has two other children, son Prince Michael II. This says he used surrogacy to conceive Biggie, who was formerly known as Blanket. And I think we remember back in the day when this child was a baby, he was on a balcony somewhere in Europe and had a blanket covering the child's face. Nobody understood what he was trying to do, but anyway, it became a meme, one of the first memes of social media. But it just looked, you know, really kind of dumb. But Michael Jackson was probably the greatest entertainer that we've seen. Hopefully there will be another one just as good. But the problem that many people I think have, black people have, with Michael Jackson is the same problem we have with celebrity. They seem not to know what to do with themselves once they become rich and famous. They just don't seem to know what to do with themselves. Being a black person is not enough. Marrying a black person is not enough. Now they've got to go out to show the world that, you know, I can go out and get somebody that's not black because that's what I value. Now, the thing about the Jackson 5, I grew up with the Jackson 5. I remember their first hit and it was just all the rage. Now... Michael Jackson was able to amass a, a big fortune after they separated him from his family. But the reality is, his fame was built on the family's name. He started out as a member of the Jackson 5. And whereas he had a right to go out and make his own money, but that was the foundation of that group, the Jackson 5. And as long as they were under the supervision and the authority ship of their father, Joe Jackson, that they said was a tyrant, Michael acted like a normal, regular person. But once he got out on his own, he had a zoo and a monkey and a, just, just went crazy. And well, he just went way out there in Neverland. That's when he went out there in Neverland and really wasn't able to get back. And many people say he was a good person, a good old soul. But he just got caught up into stuff. He might have been better off if he had stayed under his father's supervision. Because he kept a lock on things. And I know the media now has tried to demonize Joe Jackson. Oh, he was a tyrant. Oh, he was a tyrant. He beat Michael. He did this. Well, if he would beat Michael, he would beat the rest of them too. And the abuse that he got from Joe Jackson was nothing compared to the abuse he got after he left Joe Jackson's authority. So, that's just food for thought in my opinion. He might have been better off if he had stayed under the supervision of his father. The rest of those boys, even though they may not have any money, they still seem to have kept themselves together. And as far as their mother, She's holding on to that money, and I believe she's living long enough to get as much money as she can because I'm pretty sure she's going to leave that money to her children because she's already given those her sons, and Janet doesn't need the money, and I don't think the other daughter does either. And Latoya has her own money. It's those brothers who haven't seemed to be able to get out there and make a lot of money in show business. So I think, according to the records, she gives them so much a, a month in allowance. And I'm sure they, they're getting some royalties. So hopefully they're getting enough where they can live a decent life because they deserve it too. But anyway, I see Michael Jackson as a tragic figure. 
absolutely talented, very gifted, extraordinarily gifted, but not having good managerial sense. And as it is in show business and in any cult, they try to separate you from your family so that they can control you. And I believe that is what happened to Michael Jackson. I'll say it again. He probably would have been better off if he had stayed under his father's supervision. Being busy, going all over the world entertaining, he needed somebody who cared about him to oversee his finances. Not some lawyer or record company person or somebody the record company appointed. He needed somebody who cared about him. And so now at 93 years old, it seems like his mother is fighting for his legacy. One of the pro-black men said that these people that own these sports teams, these record labels, these Hollywood types, they attach themselves to black people's gifts. And through black people's gifts, they build wealth for their families and their communities and the black people very often end up broke. So that is something to work on going forward, I think. Black people need to pay attention. Okay, y'all, let me know what you think about the video. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video. And as always, have a great day.